Hey guys, today we're talking about the three types of traffic that you can use to leverage for your business. If this is your first time here, my name is Philip Watley. This is Life Without Boundaries. On this channel, we learn about making money online and also different strategies we can take to build our own online business. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button down at the bottom and hit the bell notification because we release videos five times a week. So today we're talking about traffic. Traffic is pretty much the lifeblood of any online business and how to make money online. If you don't have people seeing what you have to offer and if you don't have customers, you're not going to sell anything. So there are three types of traffic that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about free traffic or organic traffic. We're talking about paid traffic and we're going to talk about number three, which is my favorite, your own personal traffic. So the first type of traffic we're going to talk about is free traffic. Now, free traffic is traffic that you gain on your own. Now, there's different types of strategies that you can use to do this. Let's say you have a blog. So let's say on your blog you, are, you have a fitness blog and you're trying to promote a... Um, a fitness workout fitness workout sorry my mouse writing is pretty terrible so one of the ways that you can generate some free pro uh, traffic is also go find other fitness blogs that are big and uh, comment on their uh, posts now you want to make valuable comments you don't want to say hey I got this thing come check out my blog because people get really turned off by that. But what you can do is you can say, hey, uh, really enjoyed your uh, video or your your content. Uh, I'm in fitness too and blah, blah, blah. And people will most likely uh, try and find your blog to where you can uh, advertise this your fitness workout. Um, another free method of traffic is if you go to a, um, a website called Quora. Now Quora is a question and answer website and what you can do is let's just say fitness. Let's search for fitness. And you can find these questions. Why is fitness important? And what you can go you can do is is you can write an answer to this question like this person write wrote an answer and they include pictures and people are more likely to uh, read all this stuff because it's so well done but what you can do is is you can uh, write a little bit and then put a link to your blog or put a link to your YouTube channel uh, core also lets you uh, put videos in if you embed videos, some, some a lot of people don't like Quora because they don't like to read. But the ones that post videos, they're more likely to watch those videos and uh, learn the, the answer of the question that they're trying to ask. Um, but this could be a good way to gain free traffic to your uh, blog or your, your YouTube channel or even your Facebook group. Um, also, Facebook is another good method of free traffic. Um, you can join Facebook groups that uh, allow you to advertise things or even just uh, Facebook groups in your niche like fitness and just put in value put in like talk to people uh, give people information that you know about your product uh, start conversations to where people would know that you're a trusted source and then throw in some links to your blog uh, every now and then kind of saying hey come check this out this is what you were wondering about earlier I just did, did a new blog post about it um, that could be something that you can do or what you could do is you could also go to Google and you can find some things to talk about so if you type fitness uh, workouts now all of these things are things that people search for. This is the the top or the most searched for uh, terms when talking about fitness workouts. You can create a blog about these things that you know people are looking for, and more people will be willing to check it out because look, this is a, a an add-on called Keywords Everywhere. It shows me how many people are searching per month. 
look, 18,000 people are searching for fitness workouts a month, but 70 million are searching for workouts on Netflix. So what you could do is you could do a blog post uh, reviewing the different workouts on Netflix. And the title of your blog post could be workouts on Netflix. And it can help people uh, build trust with your brand and you and gain you some free traffic. Uh, so this is also a really good way to uh, come up with some, some ideas to help attract that free traffic uh, to your stuff. Now, next we're going to talk about paid traffic. Let's see, paid traffic. Now these are things like Facebook ads, uh, Google AdWords, uh, basically things that cost money. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole tutorial about paid traffic because most people try to uh, avoid paid traffic until they have some income and have a budget where they can afford to pay it. Uh, usually you can pay anything from $10 a day to a couple hundred dollars a day depending on how um, intense you want your ads to run. But Facebook is a good uh, place to run ads because Billions of people are on Facebook, like almost a sixth of the world's population is on Facebook. So that's a huge place to get people's attention. Uh, Google is the largest search engine in the world. That's one of the, that's one of the biggest places to get uh, paid traffic too. So Facebook ads, let's just do Facebook ads and Google AdWords. Now, you can just um, search AdWords in Google and it'll bring you to their website. But these are the two main uh, the two main paid ad services out there. Uh, most people use these because they know they are the most popular and they'll get you the most traffic. So if you've got a few hundred bucks to spend uh, a month, go ahead and try Facebook ads or Google AdWords out. Uh, and just make like a small video or a small um, post saying, hey guys, uh, you know, I just made a playlist about, you know, making money online or I made a play playlist about the top five workouts to burn belly fat. Come check it out. And then you would specify uh, or target those ads to people who are maybe interested in uh, workout groups or watch workout gurus on YouTube and you can specifically target those people people that know would be interested in in the content that you're providing and if your content is valuable people are going to click on it and you're going to gain that free traffic now um, not free traffic but you're going to gain that traffic from what you paid for now let's talk about what I think is the best traffic and it is uh, I don't know why I drew a line there. Let's make that a W. Your own traffic. Now, this is traffic that you generated for free or through paid that you can use over and over and over again. This one is the most powerful traffic tool. It takes the most time to build up. It's not quick like paid uh, ads, and it, it does. And sometimes it takes a little more work than free ads to get uh, get this built up. But basically, your own traffic is uh, something by using an email list. Now, um, in your blog or in your YouTube channel, you'll want to have something that's free, something that could attract people to just say, uh, oh yeah, I want that, and it's free. Here's my email address. The keyword is free. People are, uh, this is the best thing that you can do if you say, you know, attract it with any other offer other than free, you're probably not going to have success. So something free. And when they get, when they want that free thing, they have to put in their email address. And you use a program like GetResponse or ClickFunnels or AWeber or MailChimp. And those programs are monthly subscriptions, but they will hold those email addresses for you. And once you have that email address, they, you, it's yours forever. You can't really get rid of it unless they unsubscribe. And they're not going to unsubscribe from you and let, unless you bother them and you spam them with constant content. Um, but 
there are people that started building email lists and within like two years they've got 10,000 people on their email list. So anytime they want to sell something, they just make an email about it, sit, sit, hit send, and then just money just starts generating. Like literally it's it's so powerful that, oh, I need some money, let me make an email about something and, and sell. And people would buy it. Like it, it's, it's, it's crazy how powerful this is. So what you want to do is you want to use free traffic and paid traffic to help build your own traffic in an email list. And the more people you bring into this email list, the better. Because you'll just be able to send out those emails and, and generate those, those sales. Uh, you can even use free email to advertise your blog and your YouTube. It doesn't have to be something that you're selling. Because people put in their stuff for free, they're going to know who you are. And you give them a free book. Every once in a while, maybe do something else free. Give them some value. Um, notify them when you make a new blog post. Notify them when you make a new YouTube video. Uh, build a relationship with these people. Ask them questions. You know, hey, what would you like to see from me? What kind of content are y'all worrying about? Do y'all have any questions on how to do the things we're talking about, depending on whatever niche you're in? And that is, is the most valuable thing that you can do as a business owner and as someone who's trying to make money online. So I really hope you uh, have a better grasp of what the three types of traffic that you can use to help build your business and to make money online. Uh, if you want to learn some different ways to make money online, I've got a playlist, uh, a compilation of my videos of all the, the things that, um, that I put together to make quick money online. So yeah, uh, come back tomorrow and I'll have a new video. It's good talking to you, later.